Hi, I'm Kate Jenkins, the Australian Sex Discrimination Commissioner and Carlton Board Member. The AFL is getting a lot of credit for advancing gender equality through introducing the Women's League this year. And Carlton is really excited to have one of the first women's teams. And as Sex Discrimination Commissioner, I'm really excited by the impact that sport can have on changing attitudes and advancing gender equality. But we know in Australia we still have challenges challenges relating to women in leadership, women's economic empowerment and violence against women. So for that reason, it's really exciting today to talk to three of Carlton's fantastic players, Captain Lauren Arnell, Vice Captain Bree Davies and Marquee player Darcy Vecchio, as well as Stephen Trigg, our CEO, and to hear their views on gender equality. So I wanted to talk to you about leadership and just your views on leadership having been thrust into this role and what, why do you think it's important for there to be visible women leaders in our community? I think it's obviously been a challenge in the past but we're seeing more and more opportunities now and one of those opportunities I guess is for me but not so much as an individual but for our club as a whole, all the players and staff that are involved with this and I think the AFLW so it's important to see this form of leadership uh, to your point for visibility in the community but I think also it creates opportunities for people that are all involved including myself particularly to learn and without that opportunity the learnings that I've taken even just over the last few weeks and the last few days I would never have gained in myself without this opportunity so I think definitely visibility is important on a social level for young people and older people to see that women are just as capable as men in leadership but it's also important to develop those opportunities so that women can see that women are just as capable of those opportunities because I know without without this experience there would be not as much to me as there is now and that's what that is important part of AFLW. For a lot of girls and for a lot of women in the past there I guess the opportunities weren't there as much and without seeing that pathway it's sort of hard to um, I guess want to stay involved with something um, where it's not going to really give you, I guess, a career or a future. Um, and so a lot of, I guess, a lot of people in the past have sort of stopped playing sport and, and been more career driven and that's sort of what they've put their focus into. But, um, you know, there's more opportunities now for, for girls and women. So I think it's, it's something that hopefully in the future you'll see a lot more girls sticking into the sport. So I love your social media and in particular I love your Instagram. Um, you've become quite well known now for one of your um, Instagram posts mm. which um, had a picture of you with the young girl having a piggyback and underneath it it said when you laugh together because you're going to smash the patriarchy. Yeah. So if we're talking about women and beautiful messages I, of course, thought that was a really fun way to talk about breaking down what's been a historic, a place that women haven't been allowed. Yep. But you know that's been huge and there are now t-shirts available. Mm. How do you feel about the use of your social media? Do you give it much thought or do you just sort of put you into it and see what happens? Yeah, um, I guess I try to stay really light-hearted on my social media, but where possible try to send a message. Um, with that particular post I remember having it up on my screen and I sort of spoke to my housemate because I wasn't sure. I was like should I post this or should I not? Like, Because I knew you know as soon as you mentioned patriarchy or feminism some people take a real backward step because they perhaps don't understand it or think that it's something that they just can't grasp. Um, so she was like, nah, chuck it up. If you're not going to do it, then who else will do it? So I just put it up and the response was really positive. Why do you think sport is important for change in terms of gender equality? Well, there's someone very learned who joined our board um, about 12 months ago who has a great line and it stayed with me right from the outset, which says that, you know, in leading equality, there, there are three real settings for change, and they are the workplace, educational institutions, and sport. And I mean this when I say it is that an AFL club is all three. It's clearly an elite sport. It's a workplace with 100 you know, full-time employees, if you count the players, 150. Um, and it's a, very much an educational forum as well. So we're right in that position to be able to make a difference. So uh, that, that's why 
I think we as AFL clubs generally, and I think we're doing a terrific job in, in progressing at Carlton, but AFL clubs generally are just starting to get it.